In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the Editor Workspace. As you can see here, from the home screen, I can access the Editor Workspace by clicking on this Edit button. As soon as you click on that, Photoshop Elements will launch the Editor Workspace. As you can see here, this is exactly what the Editor Workspace looks like. At the moment, we're currently in Full Edit. Basically, throughout this workspace, we have menus, and these control a lot of the different functionality that's available when manipulating our photos. And in general, the editor workspace is exactly the workspace we use to manipulate our photos. From here, we can color correct our photos, we can retouch them, we can remove all sorts of different objects, and we can even crop and rotate them. You'll notice over here, we do have a button that'll take us back to the organizer directly from the editor workspace. So if you do need to go back to your catalog, you can come straight back here without any problems at all. You'll notice on the left hand side, there's quite a dynamic range of tools available for editing our photographs. And these we cover throughout this course. Down the bottom here, we have a little project bin. This bin will bring up any photos we've previously selected from our catalog when we come into the editor workspace. For now, there's nothing, and that's because we've just opened up the editor workspace as fresh. On the right hand side, we have a nice dynamic panel. We have three main options for editing our photos. We have full edit, quick edit and guided edit. We also have three major tabs up the top here. You can see we've got edit, create and also share. From the create tab, you can do all sorts of things like create photo books, calendars, make collages, produce slideshows and also order prints. From the share tab here, we can create online albums, we can attach any work to an email, we can produce nice HTML emails, we can also print our files and order them online as prints as well. So this is the editor workspace and this is where you'll need to come if you want to actually edit any of your photos. If I quickly click back over here to the organizer workspace, what you'll find is that hasn't been launched yet. So Photoshop Elements launches that up and takes you back to your catalog. Now I just wanted to point out as well that from the organizer workspace, if you click up here on editor, you can see we have full edit and that will take you back into the full editor workspace.